Now, Microsoft has brought back a very requested feature in 8.1, and that is the Start button. Now, it doesn't bring back your Start menu, that long, involved, text-based menu system that only uh, medium to advanced users could use. When you click on that, you switch to your desktop, and if you click on again, you simply switch back to your Start screen. Now, don't just remember that the Start screen is nothing more than a tiled representation of that complex start menu and it actually is a much easier to use so I would encourage you to stay with it you can get third-party programs that'll do it uh, but I really try to stay with the start screen itself it's very flexible it's very easy to manage you can move stuff around uh, you can have icons still on your desktop you can do that but if you use the start menu it's very easy to put the things you used most over where you want them you just slide them around and everything it's very easy to control and we have a separate video about that Another feature that was requested is people were more comfortable booting to the desktop rather than the start menu. They wanted to go directly to the desktop and have a few icons there. It's actually fairly easy to go ahead now and then change that because Windows has given us some commands to use or some selections to do. So all we have to do is start typing in Control Panel and you go over here and go to the Control Panel. Go over here to Personalization, Appearance Personalization, and then Taskbar and Navigation. And you see underneath that there's a section there about your settings. So if you click on there and if we look at it, you'll see that there's two different sections here. Uh, one about corners and what they do and all that. You can investigate that as well. But just below that you have the Start screen. And here it says that when I sign in or close an application, it goes to the desktop instead of Start. So instead of going to the Start screen, it goes to the desktop. And quite frankly, there were some times that Windows didn't go to the Start screen, which I, I'm glad it does now. But now if I click on that, whenever I log in or close an app, I will go back to the desktop because that's where I want to spend my time. So there's a few other options here we want to take a look at. There's Show My Desktop Background on Start. So I'm going to check that. That's sort of cool. For show Start on the display I'm using for multiple displays. Uh, show the app view automatically when I go to Start. And List out top app first in the view when it's sorted by category. Uh, so that's pretty nice as well. So let's go ahead and click on OK first. And we'll take a look. And sure enough, our background is now the same as the desktop. So now if I uh, go back to the personalization again, and I click over here, I don't happen to like the color and everything, but uh, so I'll change it back. But if I want to uh, take a look at all this stuff, and let's look at the next option. Okay, I don't care about the multiple displays right now, but if I want to uh, hit apply and I go back, you see that it's back to the normal background and everything. Now the other thing is the show the apps view automatically when I go to start and it also says search everywhere instead of just my app. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. We're going to hit apply, leave this open and we click there and sure enough our default view is now apps. I don't particularly like it but it's an alphabetical order as you can see there. So if we go back here and we take, take those off for a second and we go look at the next option which is the use list desktop apps first in the apps directory. Okay, so if I click on that and I say apply, again, we're back to the start menu, but if I click down here, I'm at the apps, and sure enough, my desktop apps are there first, which I like, because uh, I could have tons of desktop apps. I want to be able to find them in alphabetical order. So uh, if we go back here, I'm going to turn these off for now, but play around with these settings. You'll find them uh, a lot of new features uh, in Windows 8.1 for your navigation that you like.